So, alright, so this is PSEI recap and today we will be reviewing no? kung ano yung mga nangyari sa market and ano pa yung pwede natin i-expect uh, sa market. So, again, this is for June, alright, so June na tayo, almost uh, mid-year na rin, 6 months na rin tayo sa trading, hopefully you are able to uh, hit your targets, alright, so before we start, no? napaka-importante from our sponsor. Right, so this comes from Psalm uh, chapter 22 verse 28. Right, for the kingdom is the Lord's and he is the governor, governor among the nations. Right, so uh, it's probably one of the few things na naintindihan ko no? as I was uh, reading the Bible itself. No? Na makikilam yung Diyos talaga sa nations, no? sa lahat, sa lahat ng tao. And if we want something done, mangyayari at mangyayari. No? So, mababasa nyo naman doon, he, he used kings or probably he raised up prophets or mga tao no? na magsiserve sa kanya. And paulit-ulit, no? ganun yung nangyayari sa, sa story, sa Bible. And recently, no? uh, paano ba natin maririto? So, up to this point ba sa present, ganun pa rin yung nangyayari. Uh, I was really fascinated, no? If you are in the Middle East, for I know na marami akong uh, viewers dyan. No? If you are in the Middle East area, no? Israel, right? So, Lebanon, you have Jordan, Egypt, ba? Yung area na yan, very hot spot yan, and medyo magulo no up to this point no so in 1967 we have yung six day war no and etong mga ano na to surrounding countries sa Israel ba Lebanon Syria uh, Egypt i think Iraq as well uh, nagplano silang atakehin sabay-sabay yung Israel no so ano yung nangyari no kabaliktaran uh, imbis na ma wipe out nila yung uh, nation na yun, mas lalong lumaki yung teritoryo, no? And, you really left wondering, no? If, this is a move by God, definitely, no? And, uh, mapapansin mo na, up to this point, uh, talagang, ano, uh, talagang nakikailam siya, no? Right, sa atin sa Pilipinas, uh, probably, kung naging iba-iba yung mga leaders natin, of course, you think, mahihila na tayo ngayon sa gera o nakipag na tayo sa ngayon. No? So, minsan napapaisip kayo, no? Uh, yung mga event, no? Even on the international level, talaga nakikilam. And, right now, I think, uh, sa pamilya natin, no? sa personal lives natin, dapat ganun din, no? We should uh, really uh, pray uh, for one another sa mga family members natin. And, tulad yung sinasabi ko sa inyo lagi, you should start and read the Bible. Because, uh, talagang marami kang mapupulot and marami kang uh, malalaman. And, with that, no, paulit-ulit weekly, I encourage you guys to read your Bible because talagang, ano talaga, uh, maraming marireveal sa iyo and maraming kang matututunan. And uh, do not take for grand. Uh, I think, yung kung ano yung sinasabi ko sa inyo, mas maganda kung kayo mismo yung nakakabasa. So, alright. Uh, with that, no, again, at this point in time, uh, anything that I would say, take it, take it with a grain of salt. Of course, uh, very, very uh, time sensitive itong mga sinasabi ko. And you are here. Uh, to have a more informed decision, have a different point of view na probably hindi mo nakikita. And, uh, of course, yung situational awareness, no? Na most, if not, no? Uh, hindi masyadong nag-graphs, lalo pat pag uh, bago ka sa market. So, again, uh, pwedeng tumaas or pwede rin mag-decline or pwedeng sumang ayon or mag-reverse sa sasabihin ko. Again, uh, tulad ng sinasabi ko sa inyo, the market is just a probability, no? 
So we learn fundamental, we learn technical analysis to stack up our chances. And uh, as we go on, no, we refine and fine-tune yung kanya-kanya mga methodologies. So this is a general, general uh, overview, no, parang bird's eye view ng market and some of the stocks na sa tingin ko, no, as a potential play uh, for this week. And let's now start, no. Again, uh, good news, no, for for the whole market, PSCI gained 223 points, ramdam nyo naman yan. Okay, we did close uh, 7,970, no? So, 223 points for the uh, FY 2019. This is the second strongest no? rally week to week. Uh, the strongest being in the uh, rally ng January, no? I think this is, that is around mga 290. And ito yung second place itong 223 points rally na nangyari last week, no? So, I think, uh, two weeks ago, I think, no? Yung RNR, triple R cut. So, yung uh, reservation, I think, no? Ng mga banko was being cut from 18 to 16%. So, ano bang ibig sabihin nun? So, ibig sabihin nun, uh, yung reserve ng mga banko na pera, is being cut. So, ibig sabihin, mas maraming makakapagpahiram. And low, low end supply of demand, no? Kapag ka maraming banko ay nagpapautang, definitely magkakaroon ng competition at bababa yung interest, no? And more projects will be poured out uh, not only sa individually, but on the whole market, no? Diba? So, may mga project na ganito, ganyan, magpapautang sila. Yung mga banko sa mga malalaking company, no? So, overall, uh, maganda yung magiging uh, uh, flow, flow ng pera, no? It would trickle down, no? So, not only that, this week, I think, uh, this is not being accounted ng market, no? 5.5 billion by Japan, no? Yung uh, investment na ipapasok, no? And uh, recently, no? If you're reading the news, yung mga stock account no for the Philippine market has already reached yung 1 million level no so we are far far uh, away from uh, being uh, US no no halos sa uh, mga ordinary yung tao may mga account that so i think uh, malayo-layo pa naman no i think uh, this is just a five bot no probably in the next 5 10 years baka mas marami na talaga nagte-trade no and para sa mga nag-uumpisa uh, congrats, no? Kasi I think you will be the first, if not, no? Yung mga first wave na mga traders. And uh, hope you are thinking long term, hindi yung uh, short term na mga uh, pag-iisip, no? So I think uh, overall, maganda yung mga recent development and news and uh, probably medyo na kukontain na natin, no? Yung, yung trade war. I think for our market, medyo I think, no, medyo na-absorb nyo rin kahit pa pa, no, yung news. And let's see, no, I think for this week, everybody is eyeing off, no, we are really eyeing dito sa 8,011 and we're currently seeing, no, ripple top na breakdown, uh, 7, 5, tumagbog dito yung market. And right now, no, very critical for our market. Anything, no, no, sana at least may close na tong 8,000, no. And let's go, or probably, no, Pwede rin mangyari, ma-reject tayo sa 8,000, bumaba dito around sa 7, 8 area bago papasok ko ito. So, let's see, no? Kung ano yung market, ano yung mga mangyayari. And, of course, uh, very critical, critical week para sa atin. No? So, maliwanag naman yan sa ating lahat. And, let's now, no? Para sa ating move of the week. This was done by uh, Bull, no? I think this is one of the stocks na talagang very explosive. Kapag uh, tumaas and pag bumaba, same thing. Napaka-delikado nyo, no? So, for Bull, we have 18%, no? Itong, itong movement na to, very, very solid, no? And right now, uh, it's going on a pullback. Mas maganda rito sa bull, medyo mas ano siya eh. 
mas maganda yung galaw niya compared dun sa T. No? Explosive yung T, pero yung TKC, explosive din, pero napaka-delikado. So, I think wool, if you could at least buy dito sa range na to, sa 103-180, that is a very, very good buy, no? Uh, lalo pa pagka gumanda yung market. Uh, ito kasi yung mga stocks na, ano yun, mabibilis talaga gumalaw, and if you are not really, do not have the time para i-monitor yan, uh, medyo miwas ka muna rito, no? But if you are well-skilled, and you have the time para i-monitor to, I think vol, I think may, may malaking chance, ano, uh, na magkakaroon ng play to, no? Eh, currently, nagpo-pullback, and abang-abang lang dito sa, I, I think, nasa buying range naman siya. It's going to retest, no? So, that is our move of the week, 18% para sa ating Vulcan, no? So, overall, sentiment of the market, I think I'm going to give it a 5.5. Again, if anything, if the market give us 8,000 for the week, maklose, I think uh, there's a chance, really, really good chance, no? Para sa trending names, and of course, tulad na sinabi ko sa inyo kanina, it would be a very, very critical week for the PSEI. Right, so, we're going to cover yung uh, some of the names na nakikita natin, no? Na there's a good chance na mag-trend. So, right now, we have yung uh, pen which closed 2.34 last week. And tulad nga na sinabi ko sa inyo last week, di ba? Hayaan nyo muna yung bulls and bears na maglaban dito bago tayo umano, no? So, one of the news ng pen, di ba? Uh, buyback, no? Share, uh, tender offer, no? 145. But the good news is, hindi naman siya nag-react ng pangit yung market. And definitely, wala na yung makakagat nun na magbibenta ka ng 1.45 which is below dito sa current uh, price niya. So, it just popped out of the box and we're going to see, no? So, yun ang sabi ko sa inyo, if the market uh, follow through, the overall market, I think there's a good chance na uh, we're going to see yung pen around the 247 and 260, no? So again, uh, turn around for the whole company, of course. Uh, hopefully, you're able to to ride, no? During the times na nandito pa lang, yun spot natin, and uh, mas mabababa yung base, no? But currently, no? As long as the market is good, uh, I myself will not hesitate to buy it in pen, no? Because is one of the leading means no? na nakikita natin nagra-rally talaga and matindi pa rin yung accumulation na nagaganap. So, I think that that is, would be our take for pen. And one of the strong names na I think would benefit again if the market would be very, very good is yung Poppy. No? So, all we all know ang news dito sa Poppy is, uh, of course, no? Ayala is betting that the logistics uh, sector, no? Nung ating uh, Philippines as a whole is not yet developed and they are really, really going to position themselves uh, para i-ano yan, ayusin or probably kuha ni market share ng uh, logistics, no? I think, uh, magbabago rin yung pangalan nito if, if I'm not mistaken itong Poppy, di ba? So, I think this would not be Poppy for the uh, long, long time. Uh, so, so now, no, again, if magkaroon uh, ng follow through, no, and last Friday, it, it did close 359, no, dito sa area na ito, uh, kumakatok, no, kumakatok siya dito, and uh, let's see, no, if it's going to retest itong uh, resistance, no, 2018 resistance dito sa area na ito na nabuo, no, 360, 380 area. Uh, hindi naman din ganun kalakas yung resistance and uh, I think this will be a good sign, no? If it shoots up uh, sa kahit sa mga 370, I think it would accelerate, no? Towards 4. But again, uh, nothing is guaranteed din naman sa market and uh, it would be very, very uh, wise, no? Na huwag ka rin mag -all no? Because uh, with all the good news, Anything can still happen and uh, as you all know, hindi pa rin naman natin uh, alam kung ano pa yung kahihinat na nung uh, trade war. Currently, the tariff is around 
we do not know. Baka pwede pang mag-3550, uh, no? Huwag naman sana because maapektuhan din tayo niyan, no? So, again, uh, these are the two strong, two strong names, no? Na is currently, uh, if sumusubaybay ka sa weekly updates natin, these are, ano, uh, di ba? Acquisition, mergers, di ba? So, yun yung parang nagiging trend ng market ngayon and uh, you just pick your, ano, your proper entries or safe entries. I think, uh, wala ka rin namang uh, ano dito. Kahit pa paano, hindi ka rin madadali yung basta-basta. No? Nagkaroon na ng shakeout dito. No? And for the weak holders, marami na shakeout na dyan no? sa Poppy. If they are not looking on the overall view of the market. Especially if they are not in tune dito sa stocks na to. No? And uh, maganda, maganda yung pattern. No? Uh, I, I think, no? Kung nagkaroon ng follow to yung market, simple-simple itong 360-380 area na to. Itong resistance na to. So, again, that is our take for POFI. Let's now uh, look at uh, MEG, no? For MEG, this is a 2-year, 2-year, 2-year cup. And right now, no? Kumatok na siya sa 590. Mapapansin nyo naman dito sa 590 area. And right now, no? Uh, bakit pa ako nagsasabi ng mga news and development, no? Especially if you are working or probably hindi intraday. Kapag intraday yung time frame mo, let's say, 5-3 uh, minutes, 1 uh, hour, no? Hindi mo na masyadong kailangan yung, ano, yung uh, news. But as you go on a higher time frame, which I know you are, no? Yung most of my viewers. Uh, especially if you are weekly or probably daily, no? Or monthly or quarterly, mas lalong kinakailangan i-incorporate mo or kinakailangan maintindihan mo kung ano yung mga development and news about your stocks, no? And how are they reacting? How are the prices, the candles are forming, di ba? So again, with a series of updates or projects, no? Uh, I think recently sa Bacolod, magtatayo sila ng mall for Meg. And uh, sa Makindi, may project din sila. I think those are the drivers, no? For Meg and uh, Maganda, no? I think this would be one of the leaders, no? For the PSEI ito Mega World, no? Let's try to check and see muna kung magkakaroon ng follow to yung overall market, no? So, Meg, no? 590. Uh, if you could uh, at least buy at dun sa breakout area na yan, I think magkakaroon muna ng consolidation yun, you know, for this week or for the next next week. So, next on our watch list would be FGEN, no? So, for FGEN, meron tayong resistance dito. Uh, medyo solid-solid yung resistance na nabreak niya, no? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 resistance. And uh, Thursday, Friday, we have strong, strong rally with a big volume, no? Currently, uh, 23.10. And, uh, we're currently seeing, no? Probably at, uh, could touch up yung uh, 24 to 25, 45 area, no? Yung area na to. Uh, mas mahina siyang resistance compared dito sa nabreak niya, no? Last week. And again, FGEN and MEG, no? I think would be the good, good uh, leaders for the PSEI rally, no? If lalo pat masustain above 8,000. Again, FGEN, uh, same thing, no? Uh, we're currently seeing, no? na parang pumupormang cup siya, no? And then, uh, let's see, no? I think, uh, mas magandang mangyari dito, mag-consolidate uh, muna, no? Doon sa previous the high niya, dito sa area na to, kahit mag-consolidate dito, above 22, and then bago mag-proceed doon sa another leg, uh, ng, uh, ano, no? Again, uh, any, so, sinasabi sa inyo, I think one of the mistakes na nangyayari kapag kabaguhan ka is kapag ka nagiging bullish na yung market because you have already suffered a lot of losses probably last month or next last last month. Ngayon, parang medyo takot ka na mag-trigger, no? Na magbibili. And uh, yan yung mga dapat na ma-overcome, no? no? So again, uh, hindi mo yan matatamaan lahat. You're not getting it, gonna get it 100%. You just be aware kung ano nangyayari sa market. When the market is bullish, you have to be bulls, no? You have to buy the strong names and kapag ka bearish naman, you just have to reduce your exposure. If not, 
uh, magaling-galing ka sa reversal. Yan ang mga dapat mong gawin. No? I think that's, that's one of the key takeaways na dapat mong malaman. No? So again, uh, ito naman yung mga parang ano natin, insurance sa uh, or probably kapag ka hindi naging maganda yung uh, follow through ng market. Uh, Vita, no? heavily, heavily battered uh, since the breakdown dito sa 1.7 area, I think for the longest time, no, almost uh, more than a month, no, slide down. And currently, we're seeing good activity with the volume of this, no, na nakikita natin dito. For the past week, maganda-ganda yung volume niya. And right now, it's a candidate, no, for reversal if and if hindi mag-follow through yung strong names na sinasabi ko, no. Currently, yung nasa 1.28 na siya, if you were going to swing it, uh, probably 7% na mabilisan sa so 137 or if maganda-ganda yung tinakbo ng uh, stocks na to, we have a good news disclosures na probably could uh, flip yung beta that's a good good uh, 14% no? uh, sa 146 area no? again na uh, beta medyo heavily battered long long term I think wala namang ganun katinding uh, catalyst ng beta unlike dun sa mga freebies na sinabi ko uh, maganda lang to, no? At least, pero kang barahang iba buko doon sa probably, no? Follow through na hinahanap-hanap natin. So, right. So, that is our take for Vita. So, I think this is a heavily, heavily battered stock, but right now, it's showing good, good activity from the past week, uh, last week, no? So, kaya ako inilagay itong Vita, no? And least, last but not the least, no? Matagal na natin naispitan na ispatan itong uh, MRSGI currently hindi sumusunod siya sa plano and uh, good thing it's holding up and uh, if you have been uh, uh, following the news no so insider insiding insider buyer no i think the owners are currently uh, and the directors are uh, probably uh, buying no at this area no uh, Dito muna, no? Para sa 262 to 269, magandang area na yung bilhin. And right now, no? I do not think na magpapalo through to or pwedeng tumaas. Uh, I think, no? Right now, we're, we're going to see, no? Uh, consolidation muna, I think, for this week. Uh, kung wala talagang catalyst to, pwedeng ganun muna mangyari dito, no? Mag-sideway siya ng pag ganun, -ganun muna rito. And, uh, kung patuloy yung pagbili, no? insiders uh, definitely uh, napakadali din naman about yung 2, 287 or probably sa 3 area no? yan yung mga resistances na pwede tayo magbenta once naman na mag rally no? right now hindi, hindi sumusunod eh. uh, but the good thing is hindi rin naman siya nagbe break down below 260 no? but if it falls down below 260 you just have to consider uh, selling as well no? or reducing your position uh, baka there's something really really wrong dito sa MR, MR SEI kaya hindi uh, nagre-recover agad no? like the other stocks no? so I think that is it so again maraming salamat sa inyong uh, panonood and hopefully I, will, I was able to add value sa inyong uh, stock market journey and hopefully you're still there no kapag uh, na-reach na natin yung uh, 5 million sa market probably uh, 10 million and doon pa rin kayo sa mga active traders no so again uh, overall uh, maganda naman yung market and the critical critical week for this week no para sa ating market so again this is PSEI recap maraming salamat